Well, there's some new wine in town. Believe it or not, we're talking about canned wine. Did we ever think we'd be talking about this ever? Jimmy Santangelo with Wine Academy of Utah. I got to bring him in. Hey, mister. Hey, how are you? Thank you so much for having me today. Uh, it's so a lot of fun you. to be able to talk about all this great stuff, you know, especially since the kids are going back to school. Uh, mom and dad can sit back and relax to an empty house. Um, uh -huh. But our kids Jimmy? going back? <laughs> What's like, going on? You're talking, you're holding up the seltzer, which might help mom and dad, but it might not because most kids are not going back full time, Jimmy. Oh my yeah. gosh. Well, in that case, in that case, we can open it up to a whole line of stuff to help mom a and whole dad. Canned wine collection. This is I what think we teachers need. should have all this in the cooler in the classroom, anyways, too. <laughs> but, uh, you know, They're going to do it when they get home. <laughs> we've chatted about <laughs> these products before. Uh, the one I was holding up, this is by a brewery, actually. This is called mm -hmm. Upslope out of Colorado, uh, Boulder, Colorado. And this is their Spike Seltzer. It's got a little bit of tangerine and hops to it. This is a really nice Ooh. one. And I just now, seltzer is different than the canned wines. It has different alcohol percentages. That is exactly right. So you've got the seltzers at 5% alcohol. Then you even have canned beer. cocktails. Canned cocktails. This is by Desolation brand, uh, Beehive Distilling locally. This is their Ooh. Moscow Mule as well as their Lime Ricky. So that's alcohol. So that's about 9%. Then you've got the wines, like you're saying, whether it's Underwood or these others, at about 13.5% alcohol. So let's talk about a can of wine. When If somebody's picking up one of these, how many glasses are they getting in a, in a can, roughly? It's a half a bottle. So you got to be careful when you have this. But it's nice <laughs> um, because when you have friends over, everybody gets it's a little, you know, two glasses of wine. That's what you're yep. going to have anyways, generally. So really nice for the social distancing, for the sterilization. Everybody has yeah. their own item to drink from, and it's as safe as possible. Well, and that's become a big thing because you're not passing that wine bottle around, and you can, like you said, I think another good thing is that you can calculate. Okay, I've had two cups, you know, or two glasses of wine. Yeah, and two glasses of wine, two and a half yeah. glasses of wine. Just yep. be, uh, yeah, this way you're down to a can a day, you know, a can of wine a day. <laughs> There's a brand new product that I would love to share with you, and it's a, it's a sake. It's a sake what? in a can here. Yeah, it's a Junmai sake. It's that nice wow. clear sake. Keep it chilled. And everyone's doing curbside and takeaway, right? So yeah. a perfect pairing for that uh, stuff. Go to Ginger Street, go to all these great restaurants. Yep. And you got something to hear. I never thought I would see the day of canned wine, canned sake, none of that, Jimmy. It's just, it is so crazy to me. Well, so. I gotta tell you, since I just realized kids are going back to school, I'll see you later. Okay. <laughs> Bye, Jimmy. Mm -hmm.